chapter 1, lesson 3 is comparing and ordering numbers. So, in this lesson, the kids need to know the difference between smaller and greater, and smallest and greatest. So, when they are comparing numbers, we don't want the kids to look at the full number. What we want them to do is focus on a single place value at a time, starting with the thousands, and then the hundreds, and then the tens, and then the ones. The rational here is we don't want them to stress. So the bigger the numbers, the more stressful it is. So to show uh, the way to solve, we will be doing from page 22 of the book. So answering these two numbers that I've selected, the first says, what is the smallest four digit odd that can be formed from 5, 2, 3, and 6? So if we want the smallest, we start with the smallest among the numbers. So that would be 2. Okay, then it says odd. So if we look at the other odd numbers that are left are 5 and 3. Now, the key is if we want the smallest number, we have to end with a largest odd. So that save the sm saves the smaller odd numbers for the beginning to create the smaller number. So again, between 5 and 3, the greater one is 5. So we end with a 5. So, and then we need to arrange the other two numbers that are left over. The other two numbers that are left over are the 3 and the 6. So since we want the smallest, that means the 3 comes first and then followed by the 6. Okay, now, what if it says that we want the largest? So I'm going to put it here on the side, largest. Okay, so when we want the largest 4-digit odd, we start with the largest number. So that would be 6. Okay, we know that we have to end with an odd number. So that would be between a... 5 and a 3. And since we want the largest, we should end with a smallest odd so that the larger numbers can be in front. So that means between the 5 and the 3, the smaller is the 3. Okay, so which means left over to be ordered would be the 5 and the 2. Since we want the largest, 5 has to come before the 2. So in essence, when we were being taught this before. We probably weren't given these guidelines. So if we follow and we teach to our kids so that they understand, then they don't have to invent the process. So again, if it's smallest, you start with a smallest number. And if it says odd, you end with a largest odd. Okay, and vice versa, if it says largest, you start with a largest number. And if it says odd, you end with a smallest odd. Okay, now when we arrange, what we need to do is from the smallest to the greatest. So if we look at this, clearly this is the smallest because this is only three digits. So that means that's nine, nine, nine. Okay, then what we want to do is look at the thousands place. And if we look at the leftover thousands place, two is smaller than the three. So if we want the smallest, then that means it will be two, three, eight, nine. Which leaves us with these that start with a three. So if we move to the next place value, they're the same. If we move to the next place value, zero compared with one, the smallest is what we want. So that means... 3001 will have to come before 3010. So again, the process would be similar if it wants us to write from the greatest to the smallest. So you find the greatest first by looking at the thousands. So if you look at the thousands, the threes are the biggest. And then you compare the next. They're the same. And then the next, since 1 is bigger than, then that means this is 3010 is the greatest. And then followed by 3001. Okay, and we're left over with a 2000 and the 900. So clearly, 2000 is greater than the 900. So that means 2, 3, 
9.89 followed by 9.99. So this is the smallest and this would be the greatest. So again, parents, what we need to do is to reduce the stress of the kids. We don't need them to look at the full value. We just need them to look at one place value at a time. That will clearly reduce the stress. That concludes lesson three of chapter one. See you in the next lesson.